All right, Brooke, thank you. 636, you know, with about 14 million Americans unemployed this morning, many say a plan is urgently needed to get America back to work. So we brought an expert. Yes. No problem. Dr. Richard Stock, the director of the Business Research Group at the University of Dayton, is joining us now. Thank you so much for getting up with us. The speech last night, is it practical? Can it really get to work and get people to work quickly, Dr. Stock? The plan is absolutely practical, and it would put more people back to work. You know, here's the context. We're two and a half years out from the first stimulus bill. In 2011, that bill is resulting in 2.5 million more people working than otherwise would have. The unemployment rate is one percentage point lower. The CBO has to, by law, do an estimate of the impact of the stimulus. And so they're a nonpartisan group. They put it out. They run it through the models. That first stimulus really helped us. We need more help this would definitely do it. You know, uh, Speaker Boehner talked about, you know, we've got this committee to reduce spending and now we're throwing another 14, $447 billion at the problem. Is that wise? Can this, we afford it? The Speaker Boehner is really interested in long-term deficit reduction. We need to get the economy moving okay. and we need to get people back to work. People are working, pay taxes, and that's how you get the deficit down. That's how you got the deficit down in the 1990s. That's how you're going to get it down over this next 10 years. You won't get the deficit down if you don't put people back to work. As far as the proposal, Dr. Stunk, for all of us as we look at our paychecks and those who obviously would like a paycheck, are we all going to see a reduction of some sort in the amount of taxes taken out? I think that's one of the things that you know very clearly works here. What we're concerned with as an economist is where do you get the biggest multipliers? And you get the biggest multipliers from infrastructure spending and from tax cuts for low and middle income people who are liquidity constrained, who have immediately bills that they need to pay. The payroll tax cut really works for that second thing. And the other aspect of the, of the bill that's very important is it points toward infrastructure. We know that infrastructure spending has multipliers of something like you know 1.8 to 2.5. Uh, all that's a real big deal. How might Wright Pat be affected by this? I don't think Wright Pat's going to be uh, much affected. It really is not linked to defense spending at this point at all. Okay. okay. What about the pool of workers, uh, Dr. Stock? Uh, it seems like the proposal would really count on small businesses to go out and hire more to expand, and of course that's where our backbone is, I guess, with the small businesses. Mm -hmm. um, in the pool of workers out there, is there a match ready to go if these small businesses are given some kind of incentives or breaks from the government? Look, we have 30,000 fewer people employed in the Miami Valley than we had three years ago. Those 30,000 people held jobs their whole lives. Those people are ready to go. That's great. So you think this is a good package? And we I would love to see. It. I would love to see this package passed. Yes, right, it would be son. very helpful. Well, thank you for coming in this morning and shedding some expert light on the subject. It's always helpful. Appreciate You're welcome. your time, sir. Right, Doctor Sack, thank you.